Hey Rob, how's it going? How you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. We finally made it to Buenos Aires and uh, we're looking out across the uh, the stadium and my friends from Queens of the Stone Ages have uh, just started to play their first song. Oh. Hey Rob, you you did something on the rated R album from Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah, I did. Uh, they were actually in the uh, in the same studio that I was working at, putting down the live drum tracks for the Resurrection CD in Los Angeles. And uh, we were just hanging out together. And they called me in the studio one day and said they got this really cool song. And would would I be interested in doing some backing vocals? Well, it was such a weird song, you know. This song about marijuana, ecstasy, and everything, you know. It's like a really trippy, freaky song. So I ended up singing it with them, and uh, it's become quite successful internationally. And they actually asked me if I'd join them on stage tonight, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do that, you know. I have to put on all my leather and all my studs. That is a... my downtime. Hey, Rob, you just told me that you don't have enough time to actually go and, and sing with them. Do you take a lot of time to go on stage, you know? Do you take well, your time to go yeah, on stage? Yeah, I think it's like, you know, I think bands are like... Like a football player going, getting ready to, to go on onto the pitch, you've got psychologically prepared to go and do the best thing that you can do. So you just go through a ritual of preparation, mental preparation, which is what I do. I find that when I start to get dressed, like a soccer player puts on his uniform, you just start to feel the excitement and the energy, and you're getting ready to go out and do something great. So I usually start to get ready about an hour before I get on the stage and it takes me about an hour to get psyched, mentally prepared, to get my voice ready, to get my mind prepared. It's like going into a boxing match as well, you know. You want to go and give the best mental fight that you can. So it's an interesting thing to watch from the dressing room. <laughs> Rob, as you are telling me that you have to like prepare yourself and your mind to focus on what you are going to be doing while you're on stage. Yeah. Do you have to do the same thing when you started to tour with for this Resurrection album because you are doing different things on a musical level and now you are back in, in metal, so do you have to do yeah. that? Probably, probably more so because I just want to... This has been a really successful record for me around the world and especially here in South America. The reaction has been so strong and I thank all of my metal fans here in Buenos Aires in Argentina for supporting me and so now when I go out, each moment is extra special. So I think I try harder, you know, I put more passion and I put more power into my vocal performance. And I've got this great band that I'm working with, two great guitar players, Pat and Mike, a great drummer, Bobby, and an incredible bass player, Ray. So we all go out there wanting to do the best we can, but, it, but from, from what I do, As the metal god, I just want to make a very special moment with my voice. Rob, I'd, I'd really like you to tell me if you feel this way, if you feel this exact moment while you were singing and you thought about the idea, I'm back. Well, a lot of things go through my mind when I'm actually performing on stage. It's really strange because... When the, song is, when the song is at its most intense, when the song has the most power, that's when I feel the most peace. It seems strange, but that's what I feel like, you know. And it's a very serene quality. It's like you, you reach a kind of level where, like a marathon runner, you reach where the endorphins kick in and you start to float, you start to elevate. You're almost in like a meditation state. And... Uh, I don't think I don't think of the of the moment of saying, well, yes, I'm back. But I think for the for the audience, for the fans, I, I know what they expect. They want me to to do the best vocals I can make. So there's a lot of anticipation, and I just try and do the best that I can do at the moment. Okay, he, he's amazed about the album title, Resurrection, and he wants to know if while you were doing Fire, Fight, and the Two Thing, you you felt like on an exile and now you're back if you know what i mean did you feel that way well you know 
The way I live my life is one day at a time. I, I never know what the future will bring. That's what's so exciting about living life because you never know what the next 24 hours is going to create. But, I, but like I said to you when I spoke to you from Mexico City, the time that, that I was away from this true metal was, was a feeling of, of still making good music but not the complete connection, especially with my voice. Everything I live for is with my voice. So when I did make the music for Resurrection, I just felt alive again. I felt great with Fight, I felt good with Two, but with... With the music of resurrection, I feel like I am back in the place where I need to be. You know what, Rob? We've been hearing that you aren't playing Judas Priest songs anymore, but I saw you live in Vegas with Iron Maiden, and you did play Judas Priest songs. So yeah, yeah, and I shall be playing Judas Priest songs here live tonight. Yeah, again when we spoke, you were asking me what I was gonna, what songs I was gonna play, but we we will be playing. Uh, some good classic moments from Priest tonight. We'll also be playing some songs that were never played live before by Priest. So we're going to mix it up. We're going to play Halford. We're going to play Fight. We're going to play Priest. And I hope that the fans here will enjoy everything that we're going to perform this evening. You know what, Rob? I'd like you to tell me when, while you are playing the, the Judas Priest songs, do you ever feel like you belong there like you should be there or you'd like to be there because as you already know most of the musicians that, that left their bands some years ago are now back in their bands such as Bruce Dickinson so I mean you know everybody's expecting you singing back with Chris well again like I've said before you never know what the future is going to bring But all I'll say about this band is that everybody in in Halford is a real hardcore Priest fanatic. And I think the songs that we play by Priest are, are treated with a lot of respect. And we play them as best we can play them. Of course, the voice is there, so it sounds like Priest from the voice. And everybody in Halford plays it really well musically. And the fans love it. The fans love it when we break into songs like Breaking the Law, when we do things like... Um, electric Eye. There's just an immediate reaction, you know. Everybody's waiting for me to sing those songs. So, I think for the time being, this is this is as much as I can offer from Priest. Is for me, the voice of Priest to go out there with this great band and play the Priest songs the best we can play and just enjoy the moment together. You know what? This is almost on a personal level, but I feel that Painkiller is the last true original heavy metal album because you know after that came you know the so-called demise of heavy metal nirvana Soundgarden, etc now there are many bands playing metal but one when you listen to them you immediately think about Judas priest iron maiden and the thing so i feel i don't know what you think that is the last metal album original metal album well i think i can say um Like I said earlier, I don't try to look too far in the future, but I will say this now for the first time ever, that I think there will be one more great heavy metal album. So I think you might guess, you know, what that might be, but that's that's the future. And now I've got to go. Thank you, everybody. It's been great speaking to you. Enjoy the show. It's great to be back in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Long live heavy metal. And uh, I'll see you on stage. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.